Hey guys, thank you for joining me for another video. I am Craig with 3D Resin Solutions, and today we're going to do an overview and test print of the Unis Slash 2, which we just got in inventory yesterday, so I'm super excited about this one. The Slash 2 boasts a 4K resolution as compared to its predecessor, the Slash Plus, which had a 2K resolution. We also have a return of the orange casing, which I certainly prefer, over the Slash Plus's black casing. The inside camera for monitoring your prints is functional, and the mobile app is available for download, and you can monitor your prints that way as well. So yeah, let's go ahead and jump into it. Okay, so I got it out of the box here in this video behind me, and the first thing I'm going to do is just get it ready to print. Uh, start with removing the resin tank. I did get it plugged in and powered up. The Unis Slash 2 came with one power supply, as opposed to the Unis Slash Plus, which has two power supplies, so that's nice, a little less cumbersome. If we take a look at what comes in the box here, uh, I came with a 500 milliliter bottle of Unis Dental Model Sand, so that's what we're going to be using for our test print today. It also came with an empty container here. If you do use the pump feature, then you need to fill the empty container up with alcohol and go ahead and run through that to clean up the lines. Uh, here's the one power supply. Of course, you came with the USB stick to directly plug into the PC, uh, I use a laptop to set up. Uh, you do need a computer direct plugged into the computer to, to do the initial setup. Of course, you have a used manual here. And it also came with a spatula, a metal spatula for getting the uh, prints off of the build platform. You might be tempted to use this particular spatula to clean out the resin tank. I would advise against that. It's very easy to puncture the resin tank with the metal spatula, go ahead and head to the hardware store, get yourself a plastic one with rounded edges, and it cleans up great, and then you don't have to worry about puncturing through the plastic of the resin tank. So at this point, if you haven't already, you want to download and install the Unis software, just head on over to the Unis uh, website, click on the software tab, and download for Windows or for Mac. Once that is done, um, I'm going to plug my laptop directly into the slash 2 here, and then select the slash 2 beta up in the upper right-hand corner, and the USB will become selected. After that, I want to set up my Wi-Fi and connect it to the Wi-Fi so then I can install this PC that I'm actually recording on now to set up our test print. I went ahead and found my Wi-Fi and typing in my password here, I'm going to go ahead and get connected. Once we're connected, we want to reset our Z-axis. I have that highlighted in the right-hand corner. And what that means is basically we're going to level out our uh, units slash 2 and get it ready for printing. So. Are you sure you want to reset your Z-axis calibration? Yes, I am. So what you're going to want to do here is manually push down the build platform all the way to the LCD screen, and then click yes, and it will reset and rise up to the top. And the next thing we want to do is make sure that our LCD screen is working properly. And that's a very simple test. We just want to click show logo. And it should look just like that, OK? And with that, we are ready to print. So I went ahead and just put the resin tank back in. I'm using the Unis Sand, uh, Dental Model Sand, again, for our test print. Make sure you shake it up and agitate it very well before you go ahead and fill up the resin tank for your print. Okay, so it's time to select our test prints. Uh, the Unis software comes with a few test prints, uh, example projects. And we're just going to grab the Tooth example project, which is an easy one. Uh, it prints directly on the build platform. And since it comes with the Dental Model Sand, I think it's a good choice. Once we select our print, we want to go ahead and head to our slicer settings. I'm going to move myself over here. All right. And the important thing that you want to make sure you do is select right down here in the right-hand corner. You want to select the right um, resin that you're utilizing. You could change the thickness object to 0.025 if you'd like with the dental model sand. Some resins allow for higher definition than others. You'll notice that it is important to select the resin type as the exposure time per layer is automatically chosen for you dependent on the resin that you're using. Once we've chosen our dental model stand, I'm going to go ahead and press the slice button. I think we're ready to print. I'm going to go ahead and send it over the printer by pressing the play button. It's going to ask me to make sure I have enough resin, of course. We're going to press continue. So Okay, so the print was waiting for me when I got down there. You can see the circular logo here for the units. Uh, it'll be blinking blue or green. You just push it once and... Uh, it'll start printing. So this only took about 26 minutes to print, so the time lapse goes by rather quick. You can see when I pull it off, it was a perfect print using the default settings. Of course, we didn't change any of the uh, exposure levels per layer. We didn't touch any of that. This is the default system that it came with, and it's a perfect print right on the build platform. I used the spatula that comes with the Slash 2 to scrape it off the build platform. And I go ahead and soak it in isopropyl alcohol for a few minutes. Sometimes I use a toothbrush to get it off of there. And then you want to make sure you do a post cure for about 15, 20 minutes at 35 degrees Celsius. Um, that's kind of standard. You can do longer if you'd like. 
And um, there's your model, all right? Okay, so that's going to conclude this video. Thank you for checking it out. Be sure to like and subscribe and go to 3dresinsolutions.com to purchase the Slash 2 or the Slash Plus or any of the Unis products are available for distribution through 3D Resin Solutions. Thank you very much for following the video. All the links to everything you need down below. If you do get to the website and find out that we sold out, just go ahead and hit the contact button and uh, we'll get you taken care of, all right? Thank you very much and make it a great day.